Well, how do you do? Uh, <laughs> it is the 4th of July. I took a little break after the last one. Came back with the Deviant Dale. We still got some smoke going on behind me, if you can see it there. Oh. I'd never had this thing before and I'd always heard so much about it. Uh, wow, I actually had one the other day. That I sat and enjoyed and drank and didn't do a beer video for it. Today I wanted to do a beer video while I had a chance. You know, I said, uh, sometimes, well, sometimes beers get so much hype, it's hard to live up to it. This one lives up to every bit of hype it gets. It's amazing. Uh, 8%, 85 IBUs. I'm going to paraphrase from their website. I'm going to try to get close to what they say is I can. Deviant Dales is the devil incarnate with he with uh, hedonistic amounts of Columbus dry hopping. Uh, yeah, wow. Uh, you really smell it on the nose, too. Uh, the, the aroma of the nose is incredible. It is big. It is right. Oh, it's, it's a drive me crazy. It is big. It is uh, uh, citrusy. It is piney. It is peppery. It is everything. Wow, um, hold on, wait for it. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't go away when you when you're done drinking. After after you take that drink, those hops continue to grow. <laughs> they continue to grow and just surround your complete palate. It's amazing. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Holy crap in the basket. Yeah, it's 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 amazing. It does live up to every bit of hype it gets it is certainly worth it. Uh, it ran twelve dollars a four pack of these tall boys as you see. Um is it a buy again? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, not only is it a buy again, is that the closest place to get it for me is an hour and a half. I will gladly travel that hour and a half to go get some. It is that good. Oh, wow. I'm using my Imperial pint glass I got from the Microfest. Um, some folks don't like glasses like these in favor of stem glasses. I don't know. I mean, I, I do use uh, snifters quite a bit and tulips and other glasses. Yeah, I mean, they, they are nice. But you know what? Uh, these beers, this, these glasses shouldn't be either. I mean, these imperial pint glasses are great, and they're, they're, they're wonderful for a beer like this that comes in a pint can that you can actually pour a full pint out and have room to spare. It lets you pour and have a nice inch head left on there, which is really what you want. I mean, you can certainly pour a beer like this into a snifter if you want, and you may think you get more that way. Who the hell knows? But I just think it really benefits from a glass like this as well. I love the imperial pint. I always have. Oh, and there's a reason they give you a pint so you can pour a whole damn pint and not four ounces at a time. <laughs> Son <of a> bitch. <laughs> oh, how about that? Oh, wow, it's amazing. Uh, yeah, it's really amazing. Really, really amazing. <laughs> oh, wow. What else can I say? Uh, TV details. I ran my mind went blank, man. You see that happen? It's like a possum cotton headlights. But anyway, uh, TV details. TV and Dales. TV and Dales. India Pale Ale. Yeah, I mean, it, again, I mean, they call it India Pale Ale, but it is certainly the stats for a double IPA. So it is, it is what it is. But uh, what it is mostly is incredible. So there you go.